awake, alive, and back where it all began only a few hours ago. I used to lead a normal life, a life that existed in the daylight hours. Now, now I live in darkness, flitting from shadow to shadow, working with the demons of the night, courting the hookers of the underworld. And why? I ask myself that same question every night. Truth is, I don't really know why. Maybe I do it for the thrill, or maybe the mystique. But then again, why does any man ever do anything? A lot of the times, he's doing it for the woman. It was a bank job that night. It should have been easy. No killing. We just go in, hold the guards up, take the money, and leave. But then, something went wrong. Oh. At that point, I knew there'd be trouble. Frankly, I should have guessed it earlier. Whistler was certifiable. We all knew that. Going on any job with him was inviting disaster. I had a little chat with Whistler. But as had been proven many times before, it's impossible to reason with a lunatic. It's just a waste of time. And in this case, it had distracted us from our original mission. A fatal mistake. <laughs> as we were about to find out. I was hit. I don't even remember reaching for my gun. Time stood still, and then... It was time to go. I must have still been in shock. The bullet lodged in my shoulder. The searing pain. Those are the only memories I have of that drive that night. I must have crawled for hours after that. Crawled all the way back to the alley. Back to where it all began. Only a few hours ago. Like the bullet stuck in my shoulder, the painful memories of last night begin to throb again. The guard, Whistler, the girl, all dead. And for what? Nobody gained anything. And as I stumble home, I ask myself why? Why do I do this? Why do I live in the shadows? And I can only think of one answer. <laughs> <laughs>